Hi, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. We're going to be talking about matrix algebra. Now, I know it's a little different from the typical probability and statistics we've been talking about, but matrix algebra is a very common um, method that's used in a wide variety of applications. So we're going to just get into some basics today and hopefully help you to understand basic addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now, first question is, what is a matrix? Well, a matrix is simply a rectangular array of elements arranged in rows and columns. A square matrix is simply a matrix that has an equal number of rows and columns. A vector matrix has just one row or one column in its matrix. Now often, we need to add or subtract matrices. And that's what we're going to start off with today. Um, we're going to look at two matrices, matrix A and matrix B, and go through the steps on how to add and subtract. So let's look at our first slide. What we see is our first matrix, A, and then our second matrix, B. The important thing to remember when adding or subtracting is that both matrices must be of the same dimension. Now, the sum or differences of the two matrices is another matrix whose elements consist of the sum or differences of the corresponding elements in both matrices. For example, if we wanted to add matrix A and matrix B, we would simply find the corresponding elements. In this case, 1 plus 1 would give us the first element in matrix A plus B. The second element would be the second element in the first row of matrix A plus the second element in the first row of matrix B. As you're seeing here, 4 plus 2. This gives us the first two elements in the first row of matrix A plus B, 2 and 6. As you can see, this procedure is carried on through the whole matrix, adding element to element to come up with a new matrix. Now, when we want to subtract matrices, we're going to typically do the same procedure, subtracting a corresponding element of matrix A and a corresponding element of matrix B. So let's look at that. To come up with matrix A minus B, we're again going to subtract the first element and subtract the first element from matrix B from the first element in matrix A. And we see that gives us 1 minus 1. So the first element in our new matrix, A minus B, is of course going to be 0. And just like when we added the elements, we're going to go back up to the second element in the first row of matrix A and subtract the second element in the first row of matrix B, giving us 4 minus 2. This gives us the second element in the first row of our new matrix, A minus B. We're going to continue this process to create the second and third rows of our new matrix, A minus B. Now, this, this process is relatively simple. Once you step through it, you'll find that it's not very complicated, and you can add or subtract matrices very easily. Now, what if you wanted to, to multiply through by a scalar? A constant value, just multiply that through your matrix. Well, that's exactly what you're going to do. Let's look at an example. As you can see, using matrix A, if we wanted to multiply 4 through our matrix, we would simply do just that. We would take our scalar, or constant of 4, multiply it by the first element. That's 2. This gives us a resulting element of 8. We would then take our constant of 4 and multiply it by 5. This gives us our second element of 20. 
And we would just continue the process all the way through, giving us the two by two matrix, which is simply the matrix multiplied by a scalar. Relatively simple, don't you think? But what if we wanted to multiply a matrix by another matrix? Well, this is a little bit more complicated, but again, not that difficult. Once you work through the process, you'll see that it's relatively simple. Let's go back to our matrices A and B and multiply them together. If we wanted to multiply matrix A times matrix B, we would simply sum the cross products in using the rows of matrix A and the columns of matrix B. So let's step through this process. Let me clear off the screen and step through the process. So to get the first element in our resulting two by two matrix AB, we would simply multiply the first element in the first row of matrix A by the first element in the first column of matrix B. This gives us the first half of our new element because remember, we are summing the cross products between A and B. So the second part of our first element is then going to be five, which is the second element in the first row of A, times five, which is the second element in the first column of B. This gives us the first element in our new matrix AB. And as you can see, those values equal 33. 2 times 4 plus 5 times 5. For the second element in the first row of matrix AB, we would go back again to matrix A using the first element in the first row times the second element in the first row or the first element in the first column. That would give us the first half. We would then sum that with 5 times 8. This gives us the second element in our matrix AB. 2, two times 6 plus 5 times 8, which equals 52. We would continue this process and complete the matrix. As you can see, once you step through it, you see that multiplying matrix A by matrix B isn't that difficult at all. And after you've done it a couple of times, you'll find that it's relatively easy. I hope this has helped your understanding of how to add, subtract, and multiply, multiply matrices. Glad you could join me. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time.